Hey, thank you so much for clicking on the video. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, what I wanna talk about is another video, and I have a couple videos now on this that should all be released uh, about like kind of some things that I'm doing, some ideas that I've had in Bricks, and then the way that I've used AI, specifically Claude, to enhance them. So I'm hoping this one's kind of relatively short. It's relatively straightforward, but it might give you guys a really good uh, you know, way to do this specifically and maybe some more, you know, ideas like that are variations on something like this. As you can tell by kind of the title and, you know, maybe the, the thumbnail on anything is I wanted to create a very simple way to dynamically display my age. Okay. Now, and again, think about this from a larger scale. It could be whatever you want. It could be, um, you know, anything mathematically, but anything like dynamic, depending on like maybe a date field or something like that. Uh, but this is a relatively straightforward example. I feel like maybe some other people might want to do this. So I wanted to kind of give you the thought processes and everything like that. And again, I want to preface this with, I'm going to show you how to do it, but I'm also going to show you maybe some of the pitfalls and the ways in which that I was thinking about this and what I did to create it. So let's just dive right into it. This one should be relatively short and sweet, but I'm kind of verbose. So we'll see. Okay. So what you're seeing here, right here is like my official media kit or whatever, not really important. The only important part here, the one part about this is this part right here. So I was born on January 28th, 1996. And then I wanted this right here to be something that I could utilize in one place, maybe at first I thought, but also in many places where I could just insert like a tag somehow, and then automatically be able to see like the, the, uh, the, um, basically like how old I was in years. Right. So I will go and I will tell you that in bricks, if you're using bricks, again, this is, the, that's the page builder we're using. There's actually a very, very, very simple way to do this. And if you actually look up, if you just look up like bricks, um, dynamic, uh, dynamic tags, dynamic data bricks. This is a very, I'm going to leave links to this stuff in the description. This is probably like the most, I would, I would, I would, uh, guess that this is the most viewed, uh, knowledge base article in Bricks's Academy here. Cause this is, I, I look at this all the time, but anyway, there is this one specific link here. I think it always gets updated and always has like a bunch of things, but somewhere in this is there is a human time difference, like dynamic tag. So you could put any field before here, and then you could put a, you know, colon slash human underscore under uh, time underscore diff. And then it gives you a, a human readable time difference. So that is really, really relatively straightforward. And that's not, we're going to have to change that though, because there's a problem here. Because if you do that, right, let's say you had a field that was like my birthday or something like that. In this case, I did it as an options field at first. And you could say like, potentially my birth date, human readable time difference. And then it'll give you like, your, your birthday, right? It'll give you like 28 years old or whatever based off of the date field that you add in there. That is fantastic in certain instances, but specifically, here was the issue that I ran into. When you do that, the way that this works is it automatically rounds up to the next thing. So as soon as you become, so to speak, 28 and a half, you're, you're now 29. Okay, that's no good for what we're we're trying to do specifically. And maybe in your case, it does work. So I would I would highly recommend that if you just need that, this is a little God, this is a godsend here. I've used it many times for different reasons. But if you need a birth date field, it's probably not going to work for you. But if you need just like a human readable time different thing, then go there and you know, just take a look at this link and play around with that. And that should work for you. If you don't need that, and you need something that's more specific, then and, and specifically something that just doesn't round up, then this is what I ended up doing and it was relatively straightforward. So I'm sharing it with you. So the problem here was as soon as I turned 28 and a half, I would see 29 and that's no good. We don't want that. That's not, that's not going to fly, especially if you're doing it for a client or something like that, right? Uh, you need to have specific requirements met. So what I ended up doing was I was like, okay, can I do this? Can I edit that? Can I change the way that that rounds? Probably not. That's probably its own like custom function or, or, or pulled in from like, you know, maybe like WordPress, like the, the core of WordPress thing. There's, I know there's like a human readable time difference, like actual like function somewhere. Let's just make our own thing. Cause it's probably not that difficult. And we have AI nowadays. So it definitely is not going to be that difficult. So what I have here is if you just look at this text field down here, obviously there's some dynamic data in here. This is our birth date field, which is just an option. That's totally fine. That's kind of outside the, that's outside the scope of this. And then what, what is this though? This is my underscore current underscore age. Well, how am I getting that? If you just type that in right now into your bricks install, you're not going to get anything because that's not a dynamic tag that you have access to because it's 
you know, it's just it's just not something you have. So let me take you, you know, this is this is what we have, but let me take you over to where this kind of started. So I went over to Claude, and Claude, I'll leave a link in the description. I'm on the pro plan, it's like $20 a month, but a lot of the stuff you might be able to do with the free version, um, but just something to consider uh, because it's, it's helped me numerous times, as you'll see with these videos here, uh, you know, now and in the future on this channel. But anyway, I wanted to say like, write me a WordPress function that uses the human time difference thing to display a value based off a birth date variable, make sure that it rounds down instead of rounding up. And then quickly, it's able to, you know, kind of, you know, like as an example, if you're not familiar with Claude, there's a artifacts thing, it, it spins this up. Again, you might be able to use ChatGPT or other things, but we're using this. So you're able to take a look at this, right? And I'm just gonna walk you through kind of like how I ended up doing this. So I said, okay, the input is actually going to be taken from a custom fields option page. The name is like jet engine birth date and everything like that. So what I wanted to do was I wanted to have this field in my, uh, like an options page, an options table. If you're not familiar with that, uh, I have a dynamic data series that I will link up above and in the description that you go check out all sorts of dynamic data stuff, just a deeper dive. Not really important for this because if you think about like a birth date, it's probably not gonna change, like in this case specifically. So I ended up kind of scrapping that and just like putting it in, um, like hard coding the birth date type thing uh, right in there. But I'm just trying to give you kind of the, the lay of the land as far as like how this ended up, uh, you know, form like coming to fruition. So we had a couple of like back and forths and everything like that. And if you're, if you're not familiar with Claude, that is the reason that I'm giving this. You have to kind of like massage this into exactly what you want because it knows what to do, so to speak, until it doesn't. And what I mean by that is that it's gonna give you something really close, probably right away out of the box because it's it's going to, and you're gonna have to test it and then you're gonna see like, ah, I need to, you know, maybe need to tweak some things. But there's a point in this conversation where I wanna explain exactly what I, like what happened in this case. The problem with this is that it knows, again, it only knows so much until you give it the extra like information. So somewhere in here, we, we go and like, and again, like I'm, I'm actually, this is an important point. I'm in this and I'm like, how do I enable WordPress debug? And like, you know, like there's probably other ways to do it. Like you can do it in like directly, like changing your WP config. Uh, if you're on grid pane, which I am, like you can turn it on, you can just see the logs. Like there's a lot of really cool things, but like I'm saying, you're, you're talking to this, like you're somebody that is in, you know, like in a conversation rather than just like do this, you know what I mean? So down here though, this is the pinnacle point of the conversation. This is like the, 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 when I figured out that you could do this, when I realized that you could do this, this is where if you're using an AI assistant, you have to understand how this works. You have to, if there's, if there's documentation specifically on what you want to do, you have to feed it in there to get the best results. So I say, have you seen this link, which this is a link where it literally says, create your own dynamic data tag. And if you know anything about dynamic data and bricks, then you know in here there's a ton of dynamic data fields. All this is, this is the, um, if we go over here, this is our dynamic data tag. This looks a little different in the text editor thing here, but like you have all these dynamic data things, right? So if you have custom post types, you can bring in just the easy fields and everything like that. It's a godsend, right? This is how we build websites. However, what do I have here now? I have a my custom tags. I don't, like that's, you, you're not gonna have that on your install, right? I have a my current age. That's interesting. How did I get those? Well, the way I got those was I told Claude about this page and specifically th these little steps here in order to create a custom tag that Bricks allows you to do and extend. And then Claude was like, "Oh, I apologize for that oversight. I didn't know what I was doing, which is fine." <laughs> like, and then and then it gave me stuff that is way closer and way close and like way actually more applicable to what I'm doing. So then I, you kind of have, again, you kind of have to massage it a little bit and go back and forth, but at, at event, eventually you're going to get the thing that you actually want because now you have fed in the documentation to, to actually get, you know, the thing that you want. So, so uh, you know, so, so to speak. Um, and that's pretty much, you know, kind of how it ultimately uh, ends up. I'm just trying to see if there's anything else like really important here that I've, that I've overlooked, but you know, so, and then, and again, you can like, you can like actually I also I'll put, I'll put in this thing too because this is another big pitfall if you're trying to do something like this. A better thing to do than just to put in the the URL in my in from my experience is just literally copy this stuff and then paste it directly into here because this is so amazing what you can you know what you what you're able to do here. You just paste that in and then as soon as I actually pasted it in, it's like okay now I know like way more about what I'm actually. Uh, like it knows way more about what it's actually. Doing. I've never actually seen it fail 
when you actually paste in the documentation. Because think about it like this, if you gave this to a developer, a developer wouldn't be able to easily parse through this. I can look at this and I can kind of know what's going on, but I gotta make sure that like I change everything that needs to be changed, make sure all the, the things are the right, like this is, this is the next level piece here, okay? And I know this is a relatively simple thing, but try to extrapolate this out to anything else that you wanna do, like any other dynamic data tag that you wanna create that you can now create in like seconds because you've now conditioned Claude, at least in this in this you know chat here, to be like, you know how to create custom data tags now, okay? So use that documentation and that methodology to create dynamic data tags on whatever you want. And then that's where, you, that's where this is like the light bulb moment, okay? So anyway, I go back and forth and like I tried to fit, make the options page work thing. You can, but Jet Engine I think was being a little, was being a little weird. I didn't know that. I probably needed to go get that documentation or something. But anyway, long story short, eventually what you have is the code that I will link up down below and you'll see and everything like that. And then you can do that as a custom plugin or you can just, in this case, you could probably just drop it. I mean, I just dropped in the functions PHP for right now. And then this is something that you have. Actually, there's way too much there. Hang on one second. There you go. So you have something like this and all you're doing, all it's doing here is again, it's basically a mirror image of this link over here where it's like step one, step two, step three. So you're adding like, you know, I, I just said adding my custom age tag and then this adds the, the dynamic, dad, uh, dynamic tag list into the builder. Then you do, um, then you actually like hook on to like, you know, several filters. And again, like you don't even have to fully understand exactly what's going on here. You just need to understand like the, the cliff notes of it. And then from there, you're able to kind of, you know, you, you got what you needed. So you put that all in there, make sure you're very careful. If you ever come into the theme editor, obviously I need to say that don't, don't like mess up your site. You should probably take a backup and everything like that before that. But basically, um, you know, you, you can throw this into here, make sure that if there's anything that, uh, the Claude tells you to edit about the code that you do that before you do that. Cause sometimes there's certain values and different things like that, that you might need to edit. But and once you, once you get here, um, and this is one other thing that I'll say here real, real quick is this birth time stamp is specifically like mine. Like, again, like I said, I just manually set it in there and I spelt manually wrong. Um, I just manually set it in there because, uh, I just figured it would be, it's easier that way, but you could make that dynamic if you wanted to, again, go back to Claude, tell him to do whatever I said him, but you know, it's a name. Uh, so anyway, yeah. So then once we get over to the media kit, literally all we have to do is drop that dynamic data tag in anywhere we want. And it is automatically going to calculate based off of that timestamp, which was my birthday, how old I am. And then that's it. Now I know this was like a 12 minute video to explain all this, but honestly, if you know this process now, you could do that in five minutes. Honestly, like as soon as you understand the couple, t the couple things about like how like Claude would work per se, like how it works best, just making sure that you, you feed it the proper documentation, making sure that you are prompting it in a way that is exact and you're giving it the information that it needs in order to, in order to get the job done. You can create like another dynamic da data tag in like literally half the time. So Hopefully that kind of made sense. Like I said, everything that you need, if you want to, you might be in a couple different scenarios right now. You might actually want to do like my current age thing. If that's the case, I will leave the code or maybe a custom plugin or something like that. Like I'll link it in the description. Maybe it'll be on the website and you can go check it out. If you want to just take that and then edit it however you want. What I would honestly recommend that you do though, is that you go to ChatGPT, you go to Claude and you try to do the exact same thing that I did there with whatever the specific situation you have, because we are now in a in a, a period of time where you don't need to go to like a stack overflow or like any other place and like look at that code and try to decipher as, especially as a non-developer, a non-true developer, what I need to change, what all these things are doing and all that sort of stuff. You should still understand it. I'm not saying you shouldn't understand it, but I'm saying that this is just gonna save you so much more time if you go into an AI assisted environment and you say what you need and then from there you're doing a lot of debugging and you're doing a lot of reprompting and engineering of that. Uh, I'm not saying we don't need developers. I'm not saying you shouldn't be a developer. I'm not saying that you, you shouldn't understand what's going on there. But I am saying it's, it's important now more than ever to understand what you're trying to achieve and be able to describe that so then you can you can get a uh, result that you really want. And in this case, again, small example, but pretty powerful because I was able to take what I already had and I was able to extend it. And this is not limited to bricks. This is not limited to Jet Engine, AC, like this is not limited to WordPress. Like there's a lot more that can go on here. I'm just in this environment right now, so that's how I'm showing you. But I hopefully you guys got something out of this. Hopefully, um, if you were trying to do exactly this, you learned something, you got the you got the code and whatever, and you know you're off to the races. 
hopefully more so you have a better idea of how to handle and how to really manipulate and utilize to your advantage uh, these AI assistants to some degree. So that's been my experience. Thank you guys so much for watching. I greatly appreciate it. If you have any questions, comments, or anything like that, leave them down below. I'm doing more content like this and I'll be happy to answer them. If you really like the video, you got anything out of it, click that like button. I would really appreciate it. Other than that, thank you guys so much and I'll talk to you in the next one.